All right, and there we are. Okay, we're back in. We're going to do the lightning round. Okay, let's do it. The last one was, ex- uh, yeah, so this is all new questions, um, <laughs> brand new stuff, and everyone knows you have not seen these before. I have not. You have not. All right. <laughs> so if you could take a time machine to any year, what year would it be? 1920s. 1920s. <laughs> You're into the roaring 20s. That's cool. Are you like a Gatsby fan or anything? Like yeah, that? you know, I, I, I say that because uh, a few years ago I did a production of Love's Labor's Lost at Bart on the Beach and I turned it into a 1920s musical. Cool. And we're, uh, we're about to remount that. <laughs> there. Oh, there you go. So, so I, I've had my head in that for a bit. Love's Labor's Lost. That's the one that's... No, that's as you like it. That is turning it. Never mind. Yep. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> that's my thing. Shakespeare yeah. music. Love it. That's my thing. First lyrics that come to your head. One, two, three, go. Oh, I went blank. Uh, uh, I started, I started to sing six in my head. So, really? Cool. Yeah. So we're, uh, we're one of a kind, no category. That's yeah. like the first like line that. of that. That's yeah. a good promotion. I yeah. guess we have been talking a lot yeah. of six here. <laughs> it's a great, even... One thing I will say quickly, cast albums, I think, are another huge avenue that are a way in for like pop music people or people outside of the theater industry yeah. to get involved in theater. And I think the six cast album is right up there with like Hamilton and yeah. Jordan Hansen. And well, it's, like, already, it's already had like 50 million streams. Like, and it, yeah, and it has, some, yeah, yeah. Like, like that's incredible. It's totally. incredible. <laughs> Love it. Um, okay, cool. So this is kind of one that sometimes when I ask performers, I'm going to flip it a bit for you. Okay. okay. What is a piece uh, whether it be a monologue or a song that when someone's like does it at an audition you're like oh cool I love hearing this monologue or I love hearing this song uh, uh, there's a there's a monologue from uh, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead um, the box about one? being in a box I love the that box I like monologue, yeah. that like years and years and years ago when uh, when I was uh, in university, I used to do that as well. That was your one, yeah. yeah. And like hearing people do it is just so like because it's it's really. Uh, uh, you can do it a lot of different ways, right? Mm-hmm. You can give it real resonance or you can just kind of like take the piss from it or like, so like I'm always fascinated to see what someone what chooses. Choose yeah. Yeah. And how it relates to what yeah. they're auditioning for. Yeah. That's cool. Very cool. Uh, it's cool. So piece of content, so it can be a book or a movie or a, a play it can be anything that you have recommended the most to people you got to listen to, or you got to see this or that kind of thing. Uh, that I've recommended the most. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I like, is it cheating to say six again? Like that, like, <laughs> like that, like that has been like, like, like the thing that like we've been really like when I came back here after seeing it in England, I just kept saying to everybody, Can't like, this is like, this is unlike anything I've ever seen before. Like it is so exciting. We have to do everything we can to get this. Totally. That's not cheating at all. <laughs> I totally so understand. Good. Well, that's the kind of thing because I'm down in Calgary after this and I've been yeah. like, trying to figure out is there any day that I can make it back if we just see this because it, it looks incredible um, if you could be a virtuoso on any instrument what instrument would it be you know I've always wanted to play the upright bass yeah, yeah like and yeah. I don't like I don't have any skill in that right like I, I, I can play the drums and but like I've not I've always yeah wished I had the time to learn the bass the bass and the stand-up bass yeah the too. stand-up that's, bass that's yeah. what that was in they have stand-up in Ring of Fire right did Daniel was yeah Daniel, Daniel, Daniel Wilson yeah, Daniel yeah, Wilson. yeah, very, yeah very he cool. was great at it yeah it's so cool yeah. it's so cool yeah. obviously, obviously I'm in million dollar and yeah. there's one now and yeah. it's <laughs> incredible um if you could put on oh, <laughs> this is a fun one for you but obviously <laughs> um cool let's say I'm assuming the show, I don't want to preface this with anything. I'm just okay. going to ask it the way it's asked. If you could put on any show anywhere, what show would it be and where? <laughs> okay. Well, just, just so I don't say six to everything. So let's say six. Uh, that's how it would be. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, like the, the, the one musical that has like always been in my heart that someday I will, I will do is I want to do a production of Merrily We Roll Along. The Sondheim one. I saw it when I was young, like in my twenties at university and it just like it, like it just stuck with me and it's so resonant. And like when I saw it the first time, like I was, you know, I was at the one end of the story and like probably by the time I produce it, I'll be at the (laughs) other end, but I just, I love it. And I love stories that play with time when you tell it. And it's just, that's the one show that I've always said I would do that I haven't done yet. Cool. It seems like one of the ones in terms of the Sondheims that really feels like you, the director needs to have a vision for like a very spit, like you could take it kind of like that monologue that you talked about like yeah. it's all about the director's vision or the eye you can take it in so many different ways yeah because it like it's beautiful but like not perfect right like you could fail with that show no. as, as it has, as so. it has done, yes. <laughs> that's so funny uh cool so this is kind of an interesting one because i have been chatting with a lot of people um about side hustles and other things if you couldn't be in the theater anymore what's another career maybe you would choose underwater photographer you had that ready. That's super <laughs> that, cool. I know that answer. That's that awesome. is totally the thing. Like if I wasn't doing this, I would totally be doing that. That's really cool. Love it. <laughs> uh, favorite childhood story or nursery rhyme? Oh, uh, uh, do you know, like 
Uh, so I have, I have an 11 year old son who is, uh, who's just started to get into, uh, Gordon Corman books. And when I was growing up, I read every Gordon Corman novel there was, what was some of the Gordon and, Corman? like he wrote, this can't be happening in McDonald hall. And like, there are all these like stories about Bruno and boots, these oh, okay, two cool. best friends. Yeah. So, so that's, that, that's, that's the one. Yeah. I love it. Um, sweet. And then, uh, what is one thing you bring with you everywhere you go to travel? Oh, everywhere. Um, uh, like, like my, my family, like, yeah. like oh, either, cool. either like often I literally bring them with me, yeah. but like, but just like traveling now is always about like how, Can how we do, make this? Yeah. yeah. How do we make this happen? And how do I like, how do we coordinate over time zones for like the Skype bedtime and like that kind of thing? So yeah. like that, that's always a big, big part of this part of my life. Whereas it used to be just like, get on a plane and go. And go. Now, yeah, now exactly. it's like, yeah, how, how do we, remain a family in those situations. Very cool. And I will say two hours is just with conversations and meetings I've had to do back in Toronto is a difference. Like the difference between five o'clock and seven o'clock or like those kind of things. Like it's, yeah, it's totally. two hours is tricky. You, yeah, it you is, kind of yeah. think it's two hours. What's well, two hours, but it's, it's tricky. <laughs> um, cool. And then one accomplishment you would like to achieve in the next year. Um, uh, Oh, uh, in the next year. I like, so you and I were talking about this just before it started, but I recently in the last, uh, in the last month I ran a, ran a marathon yeah. and it was my third marathon. Uh, so in, in the next year I've tried, I've set myself a goal of doing, uh, doing another marathon, but, but shaving a significant amount of time off, oh, off it. So, okay, so I gotta, I gotta train over the year to really, cause I know I can do it yeah. now, right? Like I've done, done a few and I've survived, but I'd really like to move from like survival mode, survival mode to actually, like actually yeah. a respectable time. That's mode. cool. I like that. That's funny. A running is a thing that I want to, have you always been a big runner? Only like when I moved out West, when we moved to BC, we mm-hmm. started, that makes sense. um, and, uh, so yeah, so it's sort of in the last seven or eight years, I've done a bunch of these cool. marathons and triathlons, yeah. but before that I didn't. Now, this is a selfish question just because I love going for runs outside, but are you, can you hop on a treadmill and just go? Like, are you good with that or are you more of an outside person? I, like, I definitely prefer outside, yeah. but you know, living in, uh, in, in Edmonton, Edmonton. Yeah. that's a lot of gear. You, you, <laughs> you got a small window and I can't do, uh, like Holly, my wife, she can do the whole like winter, put, runs. W- winter runs and putting on those kind of like cleats and running. I can't do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, like six months of the year I, I i will run on a treadmill yeah, for sure so funny. yeah i see some people like not so much this time but last time i was here like full like it must have taken you 45 minutes just to get geared up to go for your yeah, run outside yeah, i can't totally, believe it yeah right? i love it cool well that was a fantastic lightning round yeah. i will uh pause this and we'll finish